Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make Snow Stripper style music in Ableton. You can get this full project file, samples, MIDI, presets, this entire template. Everything is available at the top of the description on my website. Then we go grab that. It's a great template. Take tracks to the next level. Today, there's nothing else like this on the market. So go ahead, support the vision. Thanks for the support, guys. And let's dive in. All right, so we're at 132 BPM. And the first thing we have up here is our bass. So what's happening here is we're in the key of C minor. It's actually a pretty basic kind of progression. Where we're basically walking, so it's like root note, seventh, sixth, fifth, and then just the fifth and octave up. So it's actually a pretty simple bass line, right? It just gives us a really solid kind of home base for all these different chords and stuff. <laughs> Now, what's happening here is, as you can see, the MIDI is just these long held out notes, and then I have an arpeggiator doing an octave up steps at eighth notes, so it's like doom doom, like that. For the actual sound, it's this kind of like ravey, wavetable, re-space kind of pluck thing, so we got two saw waves detuned a lot. Like, you can see, this is up a lot, plus I've got the unison all the way up, it's just creating this big, fat, detuned bass cloud. There's a bit of an envelope on the filter cutoff. Then we are just side chaining this a little bit to the kick. High passing it at 48 hertz to get rid of any like kind of messy stuff. And then we're converting the bass to mono as well because with these detuned unison basses, you know, there's going to be a lot of stereo information. And you can hear it hits a lot harder when the bass is mono. Then we have this lead. So what's happening here is, you can hear this very compressed, we've got this kind of like melody. Right? And you keep hearing that, it also goes... Right? So it's like this, again, we're in the key of C minor, so like, if you look at that, okay, so it's like fifth, you know, minor seventh, sixth, is using those voices, and then down here we have some other notes in the scale, mostly just fifths and root notes, as you can see, and then what's happening is down here, we're changing the root to match with where the bass is going. So it's almost like a chord lead type of thing, right, but created using, you know, pretty basic voices inside of the scale that we're in. For the actual sound on this, I'll turn off all the effects and show you what it sounds like. Right, so it's already pretty close, but basically what we're doing is it's analog. Analog is really good for these kinds of, like, crazy, you know, sort of witch house type synths. We've got a saw wave and then another saw wave, an octave, and a fifth up from that. So that's also part of why, like, you're hearing so many notes. It's like for every one note you hit, you're getting a root note and a fifth. Then we got this low pass filter, amp envelope like that, a bit of vibrato and unison. Then we have some delay. And reverb. So you can hear just kind of washing this out and making it a bit more ambient. Then we have some OTT. So that's where the like mega compression comes from, right? This is just a multiband dynamics preset in Ableton. It's a very famous one, I'm sure you've heard of it. If you haven't, it's right down here. And it was actually used a lot in EDM. And that's something I want to talk about is like with these over compressed sounds, it almost has that like EDM sort of feel to it in a way, but then it's kind of like taking it past that and kind of blending in the witch house and the future garage and making it really crazy, right? But at the end of the day, yeah, this is like a very EDM technique to do that after the reverb then we got it being side chain and then a high pass which is important because ott is going to bring out a lot of low end then we have this little pad so it's going to sound crazy on its own but with the bass line So what we're doing here is it's actually just like this long glide. We're going from the seventh up to the root note, and it's the same notes down here, just an octave down. And basically that just creates something kind of over that chord progression, like gliding into that note, which is going to make this feel a lot bigger and kind of more intense. 
you know, it's going up to that like slowly in the background, and that works really well. It's very cinematic, right? So what we're doing here is a pretty simple patch. It's just a saw wave and wave table, a ton of shimmer unison. We've got some reverb, and then we're side chaining it. And that's really it. The main thing here is the glide time. You want it to be a really long glide. You know, if you set it too short, right, you don't really get that. You want to like into the note like that. Then we've got this pad. So this is following the chord progression, really simple, right? Same as the bass line. The only thing is this last chord. We keep the same note here, which was the fifth to that chord, right? And then also this, we're going up to... Right, so you can see that last chord's a little bit crazy. But it helps it resolve better to those notes, right? Now, for the actual sound, this is made with wavetable. It's just a square wave and a saw wave. They are just like that. We've got a bunch of noise unison. And then a low pass with a high resonance. And I've noticed that really helps to get that like lo-fi sort of witch house feel. Is the resonance being pushed there? We got this being side chain, and then we have a high pass filter, and then we've got the drums. So it's not really that many drums because if you listen to these synths, you know, they're already so much happening. It's like if you were to do much more in these drums, it would kind of become a nightmare and you wouldn't really be able to tell what's going on, right? So it starts here with just a nice fat 909 kick. Right, it's a nice punchy sample already, but we are cutting a bit of sub out with this EQ. We're doing a little overdrive. Here's without that. With it. You can hear it. it's a great way to add a nice like mid-range punch to this and then you just blend it a lot. And then we're converting the bass to mono. We got our hi-hat. Yeah, simple. No effects on there. It's really just the velocities. And then we have our snare, which is two layers. So again, going back to that sort of like post-EDM thing, like there's a lot of, you can hear this sounds almost like a Prida snare or something like that, right? Like one of those, you know, just big, hard-hitting, like Electro House kind of 2014. EDM snares, right? So the way we're getting that is we're layering this with this. So it's just a clap with a snare. The clap's delayed back a little bit with this track delay here, so it hits a little bit before the snare. And there you go, you get that fat snare. And then on the group, we've got a little drum bus. Now, it's only at 20%, so it's not really doing that much. Here's without it. with it. It just adds that last sort of glue to the whole drums to make it all fit together really well. And yeah, so that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. And let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for the support, everybody. Make sure to grab this template at the top of the description. It'll really help you take your tracks to the next level today. I promise. And I will see you tomorrow with another video.